This question has asked us to describe fully the transformation that's happened to take shape A to shape B. Now again, with all transformation questions, the advice is to write down the four possible transformations. So it could be a reflection, it could be a rotation, it could be an enlargement, and it could be a translation. So we ask ourselves what's actually happened. Well, it hasn't turned around, so it doesn't look as though it's going to be a rotation. The shape hasn't got bigger or smaller, so it's not an enlargement. The two shapes are looking in different directions, so it can't be a translation. So we're left with reflection. Now, a reflection means that there should be a mirror line somewhere to f change one shape into the other by flipping it over the mirror line or reflecting it through the mirror line. Now, the mirror line's got to be halfway. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three. So the mirror line is going to be going through that point there. And when we draw the mirror line on, we can see that it's a vertical line. And vertical lines always have the equations x equals something. In this case, because it's crossed through minus two, it's x equals minus two. Again, the check, of course, if that's right, is all these coordinates will start minus 2 something. So minus 2, 1, minus 2, 4. So all the x coordinates on this line stay the same. Hence the reason it's called x equals 2. So the answer to this, you have to get the two marks by writing reflection for one mark. And then you say where you've reflected it. So we've, crossed, we've reflected it across the line x equals minus 2. So quite a simple thing really, just by recognising one of the four words have to be used and then decide how it's worked.